Most people start their AI journeys the same way they start a diet. They watch a few tutorials, follow a bunch of tool accounts, they get super excited and then they freeze. Because no one tells you where to actually begin. What to learn first, what to ignore, and how not to drown in 50 new AI launches every week. So if I were to start today with no background, no network, no roadmap, this is exactly how I would do it. I would not jump into tools. I would start by building a thinking system first, and I will explain to you how I will do that, okay? Only then I will start layering in the right tools, the real projects, the credible knowledge that is going to help compound all of that. So in this video, I will walk you through the resources that I would rely on if I had to start from scratch. Because beyond learning AI, I believe that we need to learn how to think in a world that is dominated by it. Whether you want to pivot into an AI related role or build smarter products or businesses or just not fall behind in the biggest shift since the internet or maybe ever, this is your guided roadmap. So let's get into it. So as I said, before you try to build with AI, you need to know how to think with it because tools will change, models are going to change, but how you filter noise, how you make decisions and how you ask the right questions is the type of leverage that lasts in my opinion. So let's start with mental models and clear thinking through books. <laughs> so these three books are going to teach you quite a bit about AI, but even more so they will teach you how to survive and thrive because of it. So book number one is Scary Smart by Mo Godot. This is probably the best first book on AI that I have ever read and that I have recommended dozens of times. Mo, if you don't know, was chief business officer at Google X, so he really knows the tech, but this book is not technical. This is deeply human and it literally talks about us. He frames AI not as a thread, but as a child that we're raising and that we are the teachers of. Almost as if we got a baby Superman from Krypton and it is our responsibility to teach him or her. And based on that, it decides if it wants to save the world or be the biggest villain. <laughs> so the core idea is that we cannot stop AI from advancing, but we can influence what kind of intelligence we're raising by the way we behave, we build and lead today. He believes that our character is our strongest lever. So if you ever felt overwhelmed or powerless in the face of this fast moving technology, this book is going to help you reframe uh, a lot of that thinking. Book number two is Artificial Intelligence, A Guide to Thinking Humans by Melanie Mitchell. This is such an incredible BS filter <laughs> because this book is like an oasis in a world full of hype cycles and hot takes. <laughs> Melanie breaks down what AI can and cannot do with examples and with proof. Also why it struggles with common sense and where the biggest breakthroughs still haven't happened. So I think this book is going to help you understand how to think critically about AI's real limitations so that you don't fall for the hype or miss what actually matters. Because if you don't understand the limits, you're going to be building fantasies, not systems. So this book makes us immune to the hype. And I think that's the biggest edge, especially in business in and of itself. Also, it helps you learn how to ask better questions, which is such a critical skill in this AI era that we're living in. Book number three, this is Clear Thinking by Shane Parrish. This is one that I've recently read and it's not labeled an AI book per se, but it's probably the most important one on the list because I think it's foundational for everyone right now. AI can give you a million answers, right? But it cannot tell you which one to trust or when your own brain is maybe tricking you. So this book, I believe, teaches us how to see our own blind spots, how to sidestep emotional decision-making and how to act with clarity under pressure. Plus it's going to be the best foundation for prompt engineering later on. Because look, algorithms feed you what you want to hear and you need your clear thinking to be your reality check. Now, if there's one thing to take away from this section is that if I were starting today, I would be building thinking leverage first. And these three books are going to give you exactly that. You will be prepared to use AI later. You will become the kind of person who asks better questions, who builds better systems and who gets better outcomes. Because as I said, tools are going to change. Tactics will expire. They move so fast nowadays, but the mental models that you train yourself on right now, those are permanent leverage. Now I would move from this to your foundations through training. So if I were starting my AI journey today, not only as a creator or a founder, but also as someone looking to really understand what's going on under the hood, I would want a program that does not just teach me prompts or tools, but also helps me build a real foundation for where this is all going. And that is why one of the best options out there is the applied generative AI specialization. And that is delivered by Simply Learn in partnership with Purdue University Online. This I think is one of the most comprehensive future proof programs programs that I have seen for people who want to move past the surface level hype and actually master the building
building blocks of modern AI systems. It's not a quick one. It's a 16 week certification track, which was reviewed and approved by instructors with decades of experience in enterprise AI and in software engineering. So you are getting the real thing. And not only that, but you'll get over 70 hours of hands-on learning with tools like Langchain and OpenAI and Hugging Face and Dali and GitHub Copilot and really apply what you're learning in 60 plus exercises and seven real world projects. I mean, the curriculum takes you from core topics like LLM architecture and prompt engineering all the way to advanced workflows and retrieval augmented generation rack, agentic decision-making, and custom tooling logic. And when you finish, you will receive a joint certificate from Purdue University Online and Simply Learn plus eligibility for Purdue's Alumni Association, which honestly opens doors for credibility, for access, and ongoing career growth. So I think this program is a really incredible, solid way to start your AI journey right now. Cohorts are limited, so check out the link below to apply. And also thank you to Simply Learn for partnering with us on today's video. All right, so now that you've got the depth and the structure from the books and the course, is we need a recalibration engine. So I want to give you some examples of podcasts and people that I follow as a way to compound your insight and to almost curate your own mental boardroom. All of these uh, provide such a curated perspective when it comes to AI, because honestly, the problem that most people don't see is that they over-optimize for tools and under-invest in worldview. They chase all of these tactics without cultivating their own judgment. But judgment is the one that compounds, you know, understanding that worldview and being able to reason about it. And the voices that you listen to daily will become the default lens through which you interpret that worldview. Most people don't realize this, but your brain is running an operating system and every single input that you consume either upgrades it or clutters it because we're flooded with opinions and recycled noise. And I believe that choosing what you let in is a form of self-respect. So the right podcasts, blogs, or people become mentors in your pocket. I know Tony Robbins says that success leaves clues. And in the world of AI, where landscape changes literally daily, if not weekly, following the right people is how you stay ahead without burning out. So let's talk about how I would look into um, tuning my own signal if I were to start today. So let's start with podcasts. The first one that I would recommend is the NVIDIA AI podcast. And I know, I know you might think, well, it's a tech company podcast. How good can it be? Well, at the first glance, it sounds like it's the kind of thing that only a developer or a chip engineer would care about. But trust me, you should not let the name fool you. This podcast is probably one of the most practical, mind-expanding listens out there for anyone that's serious about understanding what AI is actually doing in the world. Because obviously NVIDIA makes GPUs, but it's not just about that. It powers the infrastructure that today's most advanced AI runs on across medicine, design, finance, scientific research. And this podcast is gonna give you a rare behind the scenes look at how real people, not just the researchers, are applying AI to solve tangible problems. It is so full of incredible incredible stories from climate researchers modeling trends with massive AI simulations, of architects using generative AI to co-create with machines, filmmakers and game designers building fully synthetic characters and startups training autonomous racing AIs with no human input. It's not a news update. It's a window into real AI in motion. And if you're trying to figure out where to focus, what to build and how to position yourself in this new economy, I think this is incredibly valuable context because when you see how AI is already creating value in the real world, you not only shift your questions and stop thinking in abstractions and start spotting opportunities, but you are going to get a lot of ideas. So when you listen to this podcast, you will walk away with maybe three to four business ideas every single time. And not because they are going to hand them to you, but because it shows you how people are thinking and where the leverage is quietly accumulating. <laughs> okay, so the second podcast is the This Week in Machine Learning and AI. NVIDIA podcast shows you where AI is being used. This one is going to teach you how AI is built and more importantly, how builders think. It's hosted by Sam Charrington. And honestly, I think this podcast is what happens when you combine deep research with operator level insight and genuine intellectual curiosity. I find it so fascinating because it's rigorous, it's very system level thinking focused with guests who are actually doing the work. So of course you're gonna hear things like foundation models and vector databases and fine tuning and inference cost and guardrails, explainability, data pipeline, all of that. But you will also hear how researchers frame trade-offs, how product leaders design experiments, how real builders reverse engineer results into repeatable systems. Honestly, it's like sitting in on a high trust strategy meeting at the AI lab, except you 
get to play rewind and replay and listen again and again. This is where you learn to ask better questions. This is where you stop chasing all the hacks and the trends and you start seeing the patterns. It's when you stop trying to memorize terminology and start learning how decisions are made. That's where your mental models evolve fast. <laughs> so this is going to teach you the acronyms, yes, but it's also about building the instincts that will guide you long after the tools change. So if you want AI literacy that scales with your career, not just trend cycles, this is a really good one to listen to. Uh, the third one is Lex Friedman's podcast. For me, it's such a fascination. Not only does he have the most thought-provoking guests, I mean true pioneers like Ilya Satskever and Jan Likan and Demis Hassabis, but he has this unique style that I find really fascinating because most people try to understand AI by getting more information. And I think what Lex does is exactly the opposite. He forces you to slow down and zoom out and sit with those questions that don't have clear answers. And I find it really thought provoking because he has all of these long form conversations about ethics and alignment and consciousness and the edge of what it means to be human in an age of machine intelligence. I find that fascinating. As I said, I probably said it multiple times, but I also think that's the value, you know, the silence, the tension. Because Lex doesn't teach you what to think, but he trains your capacity to hold those conflicting thoughts without worrying and or being anxious. Let's shift to some people. Not because I want to say that Lex is not influential. I'm sure he is. But I have two more. Because in the AI space, who you follow matters almost as much as what you read. Because you become the average of the conversations that you consume. So you want to consume wisely. <laughs> and I believe that if you curate better inputs, you will also be able to design better outputs. Because in this day and age, your edge is your discernment. And that's what these podcasts, but also these thinkers give you. They give you pattern recognition. So person number one is the exponential mindset guy. That is Peter Diamandis. Um, if you haven't heard of him, where have you been? Uh, Peter Diamandis is a physician. He's an aerospace engineer. He's a best-selling author. He's the founder of XPRIZE and Singularity University. And literally his entire mission is helping people ride the wave of exponential change instead of getting crushed by it. I had the chance to attend his Abundance 360 Summit last year and honestly, it completely blew my mind. It was anything but techno optimism. It was a deep dive into how AI and biotech and robotics and space are converging and what that means for entrepreneurs. He also has a YouTube channel if you want to check that out. He hosts conversations with these brilliant thinkers like Ray Kurzweil and Mark Anderson and Salem Ismail, all focused on building a better future with AI and not despite of it. I honestly love listening to how he thinks. He reframes AI as a tool for radical abundance and he makes you think that AI is a catalyst, but that you, your vision, your values, your execution, are the multiplier. And what I love the most is that Peter doesn't just talk about moonshots and longevity and AI moon landing metaphors. He also reminds you that exponential thinking starts with how you show up every day. So follow him for a kind of perspective that makes you stop playing small. That's for sure. Now, person number two is Andrew Ng. He is, in my opinion, the architect of simplicity. Because honestly, if there is one name that is synonymous with world-class AI education, it has to be Andrew Ng. He is one of the most influential educators when it comes to like AI history. He is the co-founder of Coursera. He um, was the founding lead of Google Brain. He is a Stanford professor. He has taught millions how to understand and apply machine learning without the jargon. And honestly, I think everything he's done is amazing when it comes to learning AI. So follow him wherever you can. His entire mission is to democratize AI, to make it something that anyone can learn and build with and regardless of their background can handle. He does not overwhelm you with a lot of terminology. He also doesn't oversimplify it. He walks somewhere in the middle and that's what makes him one of the most trusted educators in tech, I believe. So start with his free content. There's plenty of it. And if it clicks, then there is deeper content that you can look into with very, very clear path to real AI fluency. So if you want a voice in your corner that is clear, is calm and is always cutting through the noise, I think Andrew could be that. Okay. So now let's talk about tools and tutorials because you also want to build skills, not just mental models. So if the first three parts have shaped your vision, this is where we start moving with intent. But this is not about collecting tools like trading cards, okay? This is about using the right tool to master the right skill and do it in a way that compounds over time. Because you don't need a lot of demos, you know? You just need enough reps, you know, fast and focused and um, a way to get feedback built in. Because honestly, 
Anyone can make an AI tool do a trick, but not everyone knows how to design workflows and debug their logic or think modularly. That is what separates the dabblers from the builders, in my opinion, from the fifth lever disruptors, like I call them. So what I want you to think about is that you want to decide what is the next skill that you want to be dangerously good at, and then what tool gives you that shortest feedback loop to practice it. That's how you should look into things. And of course, you can get that from a lot of tutorials online, especially here on YouTube. So you can start with YouTube creators who give you the demos, but also explain you why and how to use those tools for real outcomes. And a couple that you could look into are Matt Wolf. He's like the AI gearhead who gets the latest features before anyone else and breaks them down in plain English, I guess. Uh, I think it's perfect for anyone who wants to see what's possible and keep up with what's coming out. And then Futurepedia, you can think of them as your AI menu. They show you tools by category for writing, for video, for automation. And I think that's a good channel if you're still exploring and don't really want to commit yet. And obviously this channel, <laughs> yeah, the one you're watching right now, because I see this channel as compared to Matt's one or Futurepedia one as a place that shows you what works. I think on this channel, what we're trying to do is curate content for builders who want to use AI as leverage and not as noise. I am not here to teach you how to use use every single tool, but everything I share here is tested in real workflows, real launches, real businesses, and I break down step by step with actual prompts, with strategies, with frameworks that we actually use, not just theoretical. So if you want a clear lens on how AI can help you create, ship and monetize faster, I think you're in the right place. But there's one more thing. You don't want to just watch, okay? You need to move. You need to gain momentum. So you want to start small, pick something, one video on my channel and create a result and then tweak it because the tweaking is where the learning happens. You need to roll up your sleeves and actually walk the walk. And another great way that you can do that is by joining our free school community. We help you there build automation in NA10 and use Claude or ChatGPT to design campaigns and start faceless channels and write books with AI. We do that through challenges every two weeks so that we help you not just aim for perfect, but to get your reps in, okay? Because that volume is what's going to build your fluency. And obviously, once you've done all of this, you will reach a point where you want to curate your own stack. Once you have enough time in, you will need to look into what problem do you solve in your work or business? What is the most annoying bottleneck right now? which part of your workflow could be outsourced to AI or automated. And that is the tool that you want to look for. And that is how you build that stack, not just the trendy tools, but the ones that are most useful to your particular scenario or situation. Because the best tool is honestly the one that you use frequently, not the one that you bookmarked once and never touched again. So hopefully you will have seen the roadmap and you will have seen how people stop watching and start building, okay? Because that's what you want. You want to start building your own intuition because you don't need to master every single tool. You just need a few tools that you can, I don't know, master like a pro. You want something that gets you real outcomes. You want something that um, helps you with actual work and gives you measurable value. Hopefully this was helpful. Like this video if you did, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Share it with anyone in your circle of friends or family who is looking to get started with AI but really doesn't know where to start. And I hope that this is something that you will take action on if you want to be surrounded by almost 11,000 other people who are on the exact same path as you are. Join us in the free school community here. We have so much fun calls every two weeks, as I said, challenges, so you can roll up your sleeves and actually practice everything that you will have learned. So you are more than welcome to join us anytime. The QR code is gonna be here. We will make sure the link is down below. And if you want to make this into a practical, very focused 90 day journey, then we have a very specific system that you can follow as well in our founders community. All the details are going to be down below. In the meantime, as I said, I hope to see you soon. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I am so grateful that you took the time to be here with us until the end. And I suggest you go ahead and watch this video next. I'll see you soon. Bye.